Here's another tree in the Betuaceae family, but it's a different genus. This genus is Ostraea, and the specific epithet is Virginiana. Ostraea virginiana is the full species name, and this is known as ironwood, or hop hornbeam, or American hop hornbeam, so lots of different common names. It's a small statured tree, and it's an understory tree, so it is uh, fairly shade tolerant. Let's look, take a look at some of its other identifying characteristics. The bark on ironwood has strips, thin strips, that start to peel or almost exfoliate off, and they're fairly thin. Um, as it goes down the trunk, you can see that it doesn't develop very thick texture or very thick furrows or ridges. The twigs, leaves, and buds are alternately arranged. So bud, bud, bud. The terminal bud is small, pointed, with imbricate scales. Right now it's green, but that'll turn a brown color as we move into the fall. And you can see that it's kind of going off to one side. That will produce a slightly zigzag pattern in the twig. Here you can see the twig, a little bit of a zigzag as it goes. And it's a fairly thin twig. Uh, in some of the other videos I mentioned that taking a look at the thickness of a twig comparing it maybe against your finger or pen, and keeping that in mind when looking at and identifying trees can be helpful. I couldn't find any on the lower branches of this ironwood, but ironwood produces catkins, and they typically are in groups of three that will hang out toward the end of the branch. The catkins are preformed, which means they form in the summer or fall of one year and release the pollen the following year. They always look to me like little chicken's feet sort of hanging in the upper branches. The foliage can vary in size a bit um, depending on where it's growing. Usually the shade leaves will be a little bit larger and thinner and maybe a slightly different color than leaves that are in more of full sun. It looks like kind of a typical birch leaf the edges, or the margin, is lightly toothed or uh, serrate or serulate. Uh, the underside and the above side don't differ too much in their individual color. Notice that it's also more of a, an oval-ish shape to it, so it's not as broad as some other leaves. Part of the namesake hop hornbeam, or American hop hornbeam, is this structure here. This is actually the fruiting structure, and it looks just like hops, hops that you would use in, in making beer. Uh, it does not taste or smell like hops, and everybody asks if they can use this to flavor beer. I, I guess you could. Uh, I don't know that it would be wonderful taste. Each one of these uh, little pieces here is actually a bladder, and it's mostly filled with air, and then on the inside is the actual seed. So when there's a good year of the fruit, these make it very easy to distinguish. Right now it's green, but it'll start to turn into a brown color as we move further into the fall. Ironwood or hop hornbeam is a small statured tree. When they're in full sun, they'll branch out and have pretty full foliage. If you grow it in shade, uh, maybe narrower in crown, a little shorter, probably producing less fruit, and not as thick in terms of the foliage. 